Hello, and congratulations on winning the 11 Second Club. Well deserved. I think you did a great job on this animation. My name is Keith Sinte, and it's my pleasure to be doing the uh, 11 Second Club critique for you. I've been a professional character animator now for over 20 years, and I started out at Disney Feature Animation, and uh, so it's kind of a treat for me to see someone doing pencil test. Um, it's been a while since I've gotten, to, you know, gotten a chance to see one of these. It's what actually brought me uh, toward animation was seeing pencil tests for the first time. Um, I was fortunate enough to work on movies like Pocahontas, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, uh, Mulan, Tarzan, and uh, I also worked at DreamWorks Feature Animation on uh, Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, Sinbad, and eventually moved into CG Animation. I was there during the times when um, traditional animation kind of, you know, well, basically went away and, and things moved into the realm of computer graphic uh, animation and so for me though it's always been about the performance I've always enjoyed seeing things that were inanimate come to life you know whether it's a pencil drawing or a CG model or a stop-motion puppet um, so I eventually moved on into the, the, the realm of CG and, and worked on um, movies at Sony uh, Imageworks like Open Season, Surf's Up and then eventually into visual effects worked on the Transformers movies and uh, most recently I was at uh, ILM. I worked on uh, Transformers 4 and uh, the Ninja Turtles movie and um, and most recently was uh, the Avengers Age of Ultron which was a lot of fun. So let's have a look at your work here. I think that uh, like I said you did a tremendous job. I had a hard time finding things really to, uh, to critique on this but uh, overall it's, it's fantastic. Excited about your big day? You know, actually, I, I just had a couple of questions about the contract. Of course you do. But first, if you don't mind, I want to bring you up to speed on where things stand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, tremendous stuff. Great work here. I, I love the, a lot of the details you put in here uh, with the hair movement and things. Um, one thing I noticed that would be a quick, um, well, fix, and I know what, what uh, a lot of uh, time it takes to do these hand-drawn animation pieces, but if you might take this guy in this pose, since this is just the one drawing, I like how you shaded him in too, um, and brought him kind of, and by doing that, it helped your um, composition in bringing him closer to camera, and, and we don't really look at him, we're looking at the woman, which is the correct thing to do, but anyway, if you had his arm out here, and maybe have him leaning um, a little bit more to match some continuity with, with your next shot. Easy fix. One thing I noticed is the, the way the phone is facing, and that's just me. i um, curious why the phone is facing us, if he's the guest, but um, either way, again, that's just a minor thing that caught you know, my eye. Actually, I, I just had a couple of questions about the contract. Um, when he pushes the contract forward, what you did with the, with the fingers here, this pose, these two fingers, I think, is, is great as well. One thing uh, you might want to take a look at is the silhouettes are all really nice throughout your animation, but there's this one frame right here, it's like frame 75, where the pencil is near this line on his mouth, and I know this was a quick thing and probably you know, could be fixed in cleanup, but it almost looks like he's biting the pen as it, or pencil as it goes by. If you watch this at speed... Um, hey? you know, actually, I, I just had a couple... Of right in there and I think you could just resolve that pretty easily by just bringing this out here and then in betweening into uh, what you have going forward anyway you get the idea there but um, Actually, I, I just had a couple it's an easy fix just to clear up that silhouette a little bit like I said, the motion on the on the hair uh, is looks really nice. I like how you shaded in the gloves and the cape and his mask. Um, a nice detail, since this probably I don't know if it won't go to cleanup or uh, ink and paint. Um, when she when she does her walk in, I think this is great. The feeling of weight on her body. Excited about your big day. Is really nice. But my favorite thing is the way her eyes are like popped out and she's like kind of has that patronizing thing in her voice and it really reads across the the animation here excited about your big day big day 
That's great. You know, actually, I, I just had a couple of questions about the con. Um, so there's a couple of lip sync things with him and with her that I think you'd want to address. When he says couple... You know, actually, I, I just had a couple of questions about the contract. Of course you do. You know, actually, I, I just had a couple... Um, we're not seeing the U shape. We just had a couple... I think it's... This is one of them here. You're closing up the mouth too, too soon, and we're not seeing the... Not seeing that uh, the U shape. I, I just had a couple. Couple and drag the jaw behind. Almost like it has weight. So if the head is moving, it's fun to take the uh, those vowel shapes and stretch them out when the head is in motion like that. I just had a couple of questions. So when he says questions, that's the other one is the S sound. Couple of que. Where's your questions? You know, actually, I, I just had a couple of questions. You know, actually, I, I just had a couple of questions. It's almost. Um, eh? You know, actually, I, I just had a couple of questions. <laughs> it's so hard to peg it when I can't scrub it. Actually, I, I just had a couple. Question. This might be where your e, the a sound is. Actually, I, I just had a couple of questions. It's a little sooner than that. Where is it? Here. And up into your S. Dump that. I just had a couple of questions about questions about the con. I, I just had a couple of questions about the con. So so double check for that question, that couple, and then questions. I, I just had a couple of questions about the contract. Of course you. I like his expression throughout, like that sort of this this shape of his mouth is really fun contract. Of course you do. So for her, when she says, of course you do, I would milk that patronizing feeling even more. So she says, of course you do. And then she takes a breath. Those should be nice to add in there. Always listen for those things where they're taking breaths or swallowing or whatever and add that in your animation. So instead of right now, you have her going, of course you do. And she immediately drops her head and starts to turn. I would have her do the, of course you do. And then the breath and then into her next motion. So of course you do. The best, uh, the, but the first, whatever she says there. Um, about the contract, of course you do. But first, but first, yeah. Contract, of course you do. So in other words, you would have this, this do shape here, and hold on this for a, f a couple frames longer, and hit her breath, and then into this turn. Of course you do. But first, of course you do. But first. Okay, and then the other thing is when she says the word first, but first you're missing the I shape, but fur somewhere in here is the I. So again, dragging the jaw in the motion of the head gives it tremendous uh, feeling of weight and believability. So you can really drag this up into her S shape. But first, if you don't about the contract, of course you do. But first, if you don't fur might even be up into here. And also, in between this, uh, gives a couple more frames before she turns her head. I mean, as she turns her head, rather. Pad that, because she's whipping it too quick. Yes, you do. But first, if you don't mind, I want to bring you up to speed on where things... Um, her grabbing... The, the motions that she does with this hand are really fun. This thing where she turns her hand, displays it out like, like this. I love it. Um, and then the grab for the remote. It's good. And then I also like what you did with this hand here as far as its position, but watch the elbow that it doesn't become too far in. It feels like it's it's too uh, tucked into the body when she's, when, especially when she starts to do the point like here. Take this elbow and 
move it out a little bit. It's just too cramped up into her her body. Especially this pose here at like 219. But the point is good, so just check that area. If you don't mind, I want to bring you up to speed on where things stand. Um, when she says stand, you can definitely milk the open mouth a lot longer. Probably another eight frames longer. Stand. I'm just going to scrub this in. I'm terrible with a Wacom, so forgive me. Stand. I mean, she can just have this mouth open. Stand. Deliciously milking that the way she says that. The other thing would be next level animation. Where things stand. See how long you can hold that? Come on, I want to bring you up to speed on where things stand. Um, is to have the tongue come up. Stand. And we see the tongue go up. I want to bring you up to speed on where things stand. So have another look at the lip sync overall. Um, Come on, I want to bring you up to speed on where things stand. But those are the areas that, that could really use a little love and attention. Um, yeah, I talk about the, uh, yeah, if you could get some time to animate the, the chair on the superhero guy would be good. Um, so her turn here, everything is, is nicely animated up until this point where you, it looks like, you know, and I know again what the time it takes to do these things, but if you want to go back into this and turn her head first, and overlap that action so that her head goes and then the body turns. Um, right now it just looks a little bit mechanical or stiff. She kind of does this and then she turns. You can keep that same stoic face, that same serious... Oops, got a glitch? Okay, keep that same stoic, serious face, um, but just overlap that turn. And very lastly, this is nice, but her arm looks like it stretches because, especially here, because we lose the body before the at a different speed than the hand. So if this is incrementally moving, you know, from from here to here, let's not have the the head and body leave uh, frame too too soon. Like here, keep it in here, throughout here. Well, probably not there, but you get the idea. So. And. Because right now it, it ends up looking like her arm is stretching out. This is really cool. I love the, uh, the 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 monitor here, the font you used. Everything about this is great here. Uh, the camera move, following, you know, zooming into Earth, following that comet. The retro look of the whole thing is tremendous. Excited about your big day? You know, actually, I, I just had a couple of questions about the contract. Of course you do. But first, if you don't mind, I want to bring you up to speed on where things stand. All right. Excellent work. And once again, uh, congratulations. You deserve it. And uh, it was my pleasure to hopefully give you some insight. And I wish you the best of luck in the future. All right. You take care.